When President Biden spoke this week on the campus of Hillsborough Community College, he was met by more than 100 pro-Palestinian protesters. The activists called for an immediate ceasefire in the war in Gaza. One participant told the USF Oracle that President Biden has facilitated and funded the genocide of over 40,000 Gazans, and he is complicit in their genocide. He added, we don't want him as our president anymore. Meantime, Governor Ron DeSantis said during a press conference this week that pro-Palestinian student protesters should be expelled from their universities and that those who are international students should have their visas canceled. His comment came after police arrested pro-Palestine student protesters at Ivy League schools Columbia and Yale who refused to leave their encampments on the campuses. Similar protests were held this week at Harvard, MIT, and the University of Texas at Austin. Governor DeSantis said right now in higher education, particularly in those schools up there, the inmates run the asylum. And we're going to put up a list of all the campuses that we've been able to find out where there have been these kind of pro-Palestinian protests. Uh, many were peaceful. Some uh, got into confrontations between the police and the uh, protesters. There was a peaceful protest at USF here in Tampa a few weeks ago, a hunger strike. No one was arrested. Danny, I want to ask you, is Governor DeSantis right? Should there be harsher treatment of these protesters? You know, the First Amendment is the First Amendment for a reason. Yes. It's for free speech. But when that free speech gets in the way of me or my, my child or my, any children or any students attending college, it needs to be stopped. You know, imagine the KKK standing in front of the school, stopping the black students from going to school. We really don't have to imagine that. It happened in 1957, and President Eisenhower said no and sent in the National Guard. He stopped that. Now think about this. You know. Karl Marx once said, you cut off the people from their history, then they can be easily persuaded. Do we not remember 1938 when the Nazis in Vienna, University of Vienna, stopped the Jewish people from going to school? How'd that turn out for the folks? Not so well. So, look, I say personally, we arrest all those that say, I am Hamas, we hold them in a cell, and we issue a, to, we, we tell Hamas, look, we have your people, we will trade them for our Hostages. So if somebody says they, they, they are Hamas, they should be arrested. Uh, and if, what, if, what if somebody says, I am a Nazi, because there have been Nazi demonstrations around Florida, especially mm -hmm. the last few years. If somebody says, I am a Nazi, should they be arrested? I, why not? You know, I, I know it's taken it to extreme, but we know October 7th happened. We know what Hamas did. The Palestinian people voted for Hamas to be their leaders. So you can support Palestine, that's fine, but you're supporting a known terrorist organization. Nazis today are not necessarily terrorists. I don't know. I have said, yeah, arrest them. If they're stopping people from going to school. you think the Palestinian protesters on campus are terrorists? I, if they are supporting Hamas, I believe they're I part mean, of the problem. I, I know. Can I say something? Yeah. Yeah. Really quick. So, I, mean, I live on St. Pete Beach. I live on Paso Grill and I, a year before last, the Nazis started on Paso Grill and marched all the way across Pinellas County and they put their Nazi signs all the way across on bridge overpasses. They were everywhere and nothing happened to them. Not a thing. But because there's people practicing their First Amendment right and they're passionate about things, they're supposed to be arrested. Uh, and on top of it, I saw that DeSantis said that any immigrant, immigrant children and any immigrant students should be sent back. Loser visa. That's quite nationalistic. And I'm not, uh, mm, no, we are the melting pot as far as I'm concerned. We welcome the, uh, you know, I, I fully believe in the words that are written on the bottom of the Statue of Liberty. Send us your poor, your huddled masses. We're here to become one to of assimilate. all different cultures. Yes. To assimilate so, into so American the history. The protesters that were at the Biden event were marching down the street. They did not interfere and inter inter interject with anyone. They were, they were very, very respectful. The protesters at USF Tampa, they had a starvation protest. They did not interfere with anyone. They were taken away by ambulance after 20 days from starving themselves because of their passion and their belief that they want people dead, or yeah, not to stop being know, killed. You know, Nazis have marched at the University of Central Florida outside of Disney. They yes. marched in Tampa. The governor never said anything about arresting Nazis during those protests, but now he's, he's against these Palestinian protesters. It's because this has turned into a conversation where you have this side or this side and it's and it's polar opposites and everybody ignores the fact that there's a middle here yeah. that we can all agree on. Who here disagrees that 30 plus thousand people, including mostly children, should not be killed. They've done nothing wrong. I can't imagine a person on this planet that would say those people deserve to die. 
so that's the conversation in the middle where we find consensus and that's how progress gets made. We know that as a nation founded on finding that type of consensus. And you know, this idea that we should arrest people if they say they're Hamas, these are college campuses. Why don't we educate these kids? Maybe they don't know but that they Hamas are in college, is a terrorist and they're not organization. Being educated. Well, we live in a state where history is something that's, you know, we play fast and loose I with think, how it's taught. I think, so. you know, these protests have gone on for six months, roughly, since the October 7th tragedy. I think what's different and why DeSantis is weighing in is because you've seen in Columbia University, in New York City, some acts of anti semitism, yes. right? And some violence against yes. Jewish students, and that is unacceptable. Yes. And I think that, and I think I saw the governor on Wednesday, and he was basically, he was delineating the two in terms of like the anti Semitic acts are not, you know, that's what he's talking about cracking down on, but protesting, you know, for Palestinians. I don't believe he's you know, that that is saying anything should happen with that as long as they are, you know, Correct. peaceful and people aren't doing, uh, you know, really negative things, okay. violent things.